Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and today we're going to talk about why $1,000 was not enough for this gal in her emergency fund. And the way the world is right now, you might agree. Stay tuned. butterflies let's jump in i have been telling you guys for a while that i am not comfortable with just a thousand dollars in my emergency fund some people are and that's wonderful if it works for you that is great however right now in the stage of life that i'm in i'm looking for things that provide me security things that provide me safety and a peace of mind and in my thought process, I need to have more than $1,000. What I would ultimately like to have prior to um, me even finishing baby step two is at least $5,000 in the bank in my emergency fund for baby step one. I'm not there right now. But what I can tell you is that every month out of my paycheck, I stick another $100 in there. Right now, everything that I get is going there because of the state of emergency that we're in currently. So with that said, once, if nothing else comes out of that, um, the money that I have in my savings account right now, which I think is probably about $4,600, $1,700 of that is going to go straight to the principal of my vehicle. Um, if we get additional stimulus checks i will bank them until we come out of this state of emergency and then all of that money i will take and put toward the principal of my vehicle to try to get that paid off now my goal i would love to have it paid off in a year but my goal is to you know 18 months um and so that's where i am with that right now it's going to be hard it's going to be hard to pay it off but I am really excited to just, I, I love seeing money in my account and I normally love it. And then I told you something about July, somehow I'll spend the money and I'm trying my, my hardest to break that cycle this year and keep focused on the end result. So by the end of the year, I would like $5,000 in my emergency fund, baby step one. That'll give me at least um, maybe two, two and a half months worth of um, expenses. So if I were to lose my job, because it, to be honest with y'all, if I lose my job, I only have one job. That's it. I don't get paid for YouTube. I don't meet the requirements. So I do this because I love being with you guys. So my only income is um, is, is my day job. And so with that, I take whatever I can and I put it toward my, um, my baby step two, which is what I'm paying off in my vehicle right now. So I'm just trying to be as focused and gazelle intent as I possibly can to get me to my end result of what I want to do. So, um, yep. I know everybody's not going to agree with me. I definitely understand that I am making less interest and it's not about the interest that I'm making in the savings account. Y'all, I promise you it is not. It is having liquid funds to be able to, you know, take care of me and my family if that a need arises. And if it doesn't, it will sit there. But what I'm not choosing to do for my life is to feel that chokehold that you feel when you need something and you don't have the money for it not willing to do that anymore um i talked about that in in my baby step zero um where you feel like that chokehold is on you um most emergencies let's just be honest are not going to be less than a thousand dollars they're not um that they're just not you know most um automobile things that need to be replaced are not going to be under a thousand dollars a tire that's that's different 
But if you're talking about a motor or if you're talking about something that needs to be revamped on your car and fixed or whatever you want to call it, then that's going to be more than $1,000. And then you are back to ground zero. So if Murphy hits again before you're able to replenish it, guess what? I don't... It's, it's not enough money in the world. It's not enough credit in the world to make me want to feel that chokehold again. So I have chosen that, you know, that's the best route for me. I always want you guys to pick the best route for yourselves, but it makes me feel more comfortable. I'm not at $5,000 right now. Um, and like I said, that $1,700 is definitely going straight. Um, that we just got in the stimulus check is going straight to the principal once this, you know, all lifts. And any additional funding that we get is going straight to principal once all of this lifts. But until then, I will save it just in case because I'm not an essential worker. Um, in Georgia, um, we have about 4,200 um, child cares, either centers or family child care. And two-thirds of those are closed. So, you, you, I mean, do the calculations. <laughs> it's only so long they're going to let me do this virtually. Hopefully, it will lift before, you know, anything, anybody has to be furloughed. But the fact of the matter is, although my girls are working, I'm the only one that's completely responsible for everything in this house. And so, you know, I just have to be mindful of that. And so... um I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. You know, we talked about this um, on a previous um, video and, you know, I wholeheartedly feel like I just need to have at least two, two and a half, at least right now I would probably have about maybe one, one and a half months of expenses. And I'm okay with that. Um, as long as I continue to build it a little bit further, but it makes me feel more comfortable that if something came up that I would be able to handle it and it would not completely wipe me up, out. And that's what I don't want because it's happened to me before. If you look at, back at one of my videos, um, a couple of years ago, the dog ended up, um, getting sick and it was like six, seven hundred dollars and, it just like Murphy just kept going, kept going, kept going. And, and I was back at ground zero and I was like, I don't want to do that anymore. So um, that's what I am doing. And that's why I feel the way I feel. <laughs> but I hope you guys, um, you know, figure out what your sweet spot is, you know, and tell me in the comments, tell me what your sweet spot is. It might be a thousand dollars. You might say, Pam, I feel better with two thousand. But tell me what you think in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, I don't have any clue why you have not subscribed yet. Please come on and be a part of the Butterfly family. And until next time, Butterflies, love you.